I've always felt that poetry and art and music are the most important dimensions of our lives. We need art and museums now more than ever. For me, the human scale is, is central to architecture. You know, every one of these buildings that you see here have to do with the golden section. A simple proportion system, you know, this joint to that joint to that joint is 1 to 1 1.618. All through the history of architecture. You can feel the harmony that's the structure. Because when you walk with your body through the spaces, you feel this relationship of human scale and proportion and light. The spatial energy of the building draws you through. And I think you can feel that in my buildings. Someone asked me, what is your favorite material? And I said, it's light. It's free. <laughs> energy, light, and space, and green space, very important to me. Checking natural light, you really need to do it in models. James Terrell taught me this, that light falls off a surface according to the square root of the distance of the light source. So the only way you can look at light is to build a model and look inside the model and check the light. I believe that every site and circumstance is different. You think, what is this place? How can I make a meaningful building that relates to this culture, to the race, to this climate, to this circumstance? And that's how I try to start every project. And I think we have that in the new kinder building. Galleries, the natural light, the idea of the, the big Texas sky and its luminous canopy. Certainly the light is intense, it gets off, so you have to treat it in some way. And I was thinking of the cloud shapes, that the light would slide along the bottom of a cloud and it would just glow. It was a sort of a rolling cloud in the long gallery, but the light is sliding along the edge, becomes diffused, it's still natural light, and that makes a special space. So coming in from below also, you know, that's a, that was a challenge. Now that you have these tunnels, how do you arrive in this building to make that arrival just as exciting? And I think we achieved that. You know, there's two tunnel entrances to this building. They're different, but they're lively. It isn't just a tunnel. It's an experience of art. The blurring between architecture and art is great. I've always felt that Houston was a place, a, a culture that cared about art. And uh, to me, it's like one of the most important projects in my whole life as an architect. The future of, of the cultural, spiritual energy will be in buildings that we haven't seen before. They give us a feeling of something in the future that's positive. It's not the past. And uh, what we can do today, I think, is really exciting and unique. And I think that's the duty as an architect. You have to be an optimist. Architects have to be optimists.